guys, it's Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and welcome back to the merch series. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how I upload my images onto the shirt template and get started on creating a title and brand name. So in the last video, we were creating a shirt for Father's Day called Papa Bear. I didn't actually flesh the shirt out and create the design uh, because I was just trying to show the ins and outs of uh, how to do the different steps in the process. So we're going to actually upload the shirt today and I'll show you how I come up with the brand name and the title. So you come to your merch dashboard and you select create and we resized this uh, image in the last video. So we have our Papa Bear shirt up. Now I'm on a higher tier so I have a lot more spots available. So frequently I will open up three or four tabs and I will have the different, I will have created the design in a light and a dark so that I can upload at the same time and just copy and paste my um, title and my brand and everything. So it, it makes it go a lot quicker. So I'm only going to do one, but um, when you get to a higher tier, that's something to think about to create the shirt um, both for what would look good on a dark shirt and what would look good on a light shirt and then to upload them simultaneously, simultaneously, simultaneously. Okay, so here we have, I, again, I didn't fancy it up to do Papa Bear, but we'll just pretend like that. It's a Papa Bear shirt. So we will save our selection. And then here I have the choices of shirts. And again, if I can't decide or it looks good on too many different colors, I might upload um, the same design again, choosing different colored shirts. But I wouldn't recommend this necessarily for someone on a lower tier because you're limited on the amount of space you've got. Um, and this is one of the, the, the places that um, I've seen some, when people ask for advice on choosing, uh, on how their shirts look, really look at how your design looks on the colors you choose. Don't just think, oh, black's a, a popular color, I'm putting it on black or you know, green or brown or whatever. Um, take a look at your design and see how it looks on that color. Ask and ask for advice. <laughs> because some, I mean, that's one of the things that I've seen most frequently is that um, it doesn't look right on certain colors or not all the, you, you, maybe the person only chose two colors and, and if you have five options, go for it, right? Okay, so, and I just flipped through, so no, maybe, no, eh, no, no, maybe, no, no, that's a, mm. so yeah, my brown bear is like, that's okay, green, maybe. So I flipped through them all, blue looks okay, I'm gonna go ahead and select that, white, yellow's a maybe, pink, if it was a mama bear, yeah, maybe a pink shirt. I'm gonna go ahead and pretend. Well, that's well, maybe it's a daddy bear that likes pink. <laughs> Who am I to say, right? Um, let's go ahead and put him on. Let's see, do I like gray better? So I've already got the silver, so maybe I'll go with the yellow. All right, and then I always select youth. I always select all three, no matter if it's a shirt geared for adults or children, because there are some women, adults, and probably men, adults too, who have to buy children's sizes um, just because they're petite, or there might be children who have to buy adult sizes because they are husky, as they used to say in my day. Uh, and then I choose my price points. I generally price between $17.99 and $19.99. Um, I have a couple shirts that are uh, lower than that, but for the most part, I'll, um, I'll start at $17.99. There's a few I have at 16, basic text that kind of stuff that kind of thing. So here we go, we are at the product details. Now when I'm looking for my brand name, and this is very important, when you're doing your brand name, your title, your keywords, you have to check the um, trademark for everything. I know we checked it for Papa Bear and all of that stuff, but it's a process, I just keep that tab open for USPTO and trademark, yeah, and have it ready to go when I'm searching for bear shirts or whatever. Um, now, if I've already done the research for it and I have some other bear shirts up, I might go to those and take some of the keywords that I've already used. <clears throat> Pardon me. So here's what I do. Um, and I I don't have a particular brand, for, and some people do this differently, and it's just totally up to you how you wanna do this. Um, some people want all their shirts under their own brand, which is fine. 
And some people want all their shirts under something that is keyword searchable. Um, well, your brand would be too, but you know what I mean, like a, a bear brand shirt. So I open up Merch Research, and then I will type in Papa Bear shirt, or just Papa Bear, because I know I'm looking for a shirt. Papa Bear. And here's what gets pulled up. So I see lots of lots and lots of them. So I have different plugins on my computer. I've got one called Merch Tools. I've got, uh, that's a keywords one, DS Amazon, and then I've got Unicorn Smasher. So I can take a look, oh here, it already did it for me, um, all these shirts, and I can select rank, and it'll sort them by rank. That one's got a really good rank right there. Oh, it's still loading, look how many. It's still going. So I wanna click on rank, and it's, unless it's still thinking. Maybe it went backwards, there we go. Okay, so here we go. This is a one that's got a really good rank. So I might open this up in another tab and on my computer that's Command T. So I'll just select a few of these, opening them um, in another tab. So I am, again, I'm holding down Command and I'm hitting the mouse. Uh, it might be Control on yours, not Command T, that's if I was opening a blank tab. Okay, so I'm just opening up a few of these that have you know, a good ranking, that means they're being found, they're doing something right. Uh, and if, if you don't have this plugin, another thing I do, if I can close this out, is I will sort by customer reviews. Now, not everything gets a customer review, but this way I can see, oh look, this one's got you know, a good you know, score, and it's got some good reviews, so they're doing something right, they're being found, that's good. So I'm just opening up other tabs. Now what I'm looking for is what they put for their title and what they put for their keywords. Now look, woo, we'll deal with that later. Um, camping and glamping tees, I love it. Uh, men's Papa Bear, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Papa Bear Best Dad Shirt, that's cool too. So they're getting all those keywords in there. Papa Bear, Big Hug. Okay, so Big Papa, okay, I already opened that one. And this, I mean, this is what I do. I just flip through the different tabs and see what people have and what kind of words they've chosen. And uh, I want to make sure, see like, I'm not picking on this shirt because it's selling really well, but one of the Amazon terms of service is that you're right, when you write your title, you write it um, like you write a title for any sort of publication or you uh, um, capitalize the first word of first letter of words, except for small words. Um, so you want to make sure that you're tackling all of these things. Um, but again, this, this shirt is selling, so what am I to say? But I am, so. Because <laughs> we want to do the right thing. Okie dokie. So that's a mama bear and the papa bear. Okay, so I'm going to open up my USPTO over here, and I'm going to type in, oh wait, let's get to the right screen first. Papa bear shirts. I'm sure I already searched this in the other one, but it was a couple days ago, and I can't remember. So let's type in Papa Bear. Look, it even remembers that I looked it up. Oh wait, go back. I just want the live ones. Live. Submit. And then I will open these. Papa Bear, Papa Bear. I'm just going with the ones that are exact Papa Bear. This one's for chairs and furniture. I'm good. This one's for e-cigarettes. Oh, I remember that now. <laughs> this one's for archery. Good. <clears throat> and stuffed toys. Okay, we're good to go. So I think I want my shirt to be titled Papa Bear T-shirts. Papa Bear T-shirts. And then for my title, I want to say, see, I've already used Papa Bear. Um, so Big Bear Father's Day Dad Tea. And I'm going to check, I'll go back and check some of these just to make sure. Daddy Bear, Papa, Papa Bear, Awesome Camping Father's Tea, Papa Father's Father's Father's. I'm looking for those keywords. Bear Hug, Men's Papa Bear. I'm not going to put men's because I just am not. Papa Bear, best gift for dad. Father's Day, new Papa. 
Okay. 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 So mostly just Papa, Papa, Papa. I mean, we may want to get Daddy in there. So um, we could say, I like that somebody put new, uh, new Daddy shirt because maybe it's you know for a new a new father. So I am going to. I know I've got some shirts that have Big Bear, so I think that that's okay because I have shirts Big Bear like so. And are we at all the live ones? Yes, we are. So I'm skipping down to the ones that just say Big Bear and I'm going to open those up in another tab. Big Bear, BB Bear, boop, 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 boop. Is that it? Nope, there's a couple more. Let's peek at those as well. Big Bear, Big Bear, Big Bear. Okay, this is motor vehicles. We're good. Non metal brackets. We're good. Uh, bears, other mm, plus, okay. And the uh, word mark big bear. Okay, I don't even know what that means. Okay, so I think we're good. Um, alrighty, so that is pretty much it. Have I, I try to use up all the spots that I can? And can I get brown in there? Okay, so I might, I can get brown in there. And since my bear is brown, I may go squeeze that word in there. Brown bear, big brown bear, Father's Day. Yeah, I try to get as many words in there as I can um, to use up all the spaces and to get as many keywords as possible. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned in the next video, and we will tackle keywords and descriptions. See you there. Bye.